Hello and welcome to a box of pennies I've got to hunt here. Um, I have a what looks like a partially circulated, maybe a partial uncirculated. I've got uh, so, several rolls here that look like it might be uncirculated. So I got at least some rolls to hunt through. And uh, I do have a couple of boxes here, so I might just combine the two depending on what's going on with this one and the next box. But yeah, let's get into this. Hunt through the rolls we can and hopefully find some good stuff. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, so most of the box looks like 2022 Denver's. Now I've got 18 rolls circulated here to go through. So this might be a short hunt. And uh, I might add in the other box depending on what the finds are. I'm going to rip through these and see if there's any uncirculated stuff in here, but this all look like brand new 2022 Denver rolls. Our second roll in right here, let me get it into the camera here, poured it out. Notice we had a 1958 out of Denver. That is a wheat scent, a final year of the wheat scents, and our first find of these 18 rolls. Nice. Roll number 10, and I've hit a 2006. This one looks like it has a double die here. The date is a little extra thick and stretched, and it looks like there's a little bit in Liberty as well. Um, this one looks to match to DDO007 out on Variety Vista. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's a neat little find there. Roll 13, and we've got another wheat scent here. Uh, it's 1955 out of Denver. Nice, that's another wheat scent there. That's our second wheat scent out of these 18 rolls. Roll 17, only one more roll after this and we've hit a 1944 wheat scent. Nice, third wheat scent from this. One more roll and I think I'm gonna pop open the next box and maybe add that to the sun. So let's uh, see what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna add a second box here. Well, hopefully I can add a second box here. Um, well, it looks like I got another half circulated box. And it looks like another box full of 2022 Denvers. That's weird. I picked up that first box a few weeks ago and this box just yesterday. Um, anyways, oh, I got a Canadian into right here. Um, well, I got a half a box and a half a box. Maybe that might make a whole box. We got a Canadian in there and a bunch more look like 2022 Denvers. So I'm going to add the uh, uncirculated rolls here to the hunt and see what we find in these. All right. So we have about 24 more rolls to add to hunt. So I'm going to have close to a full box of pennies. This is the Canadian Ender. I figured we'd open this and see if there's anything else in here with that. And also take a look and see what's going on with this roll. But uh, 25 more rolls to add to the hunt. Hopefully these 25 will have a good showing of fun finds. Um, the Canadian here is a 1975. Awesome. That is our first foreign. Um, and I'll just give a quick peek since we're here and we opened the roll. I don't see anything else standing out. But uh, yeah, that's 25 more rolls to go to the hunt. Well, that's a decent 1970 there. Got some surface discoloration, but that is in pretty good shape. That's cool. Um, all right. Yeah, that just, uh, the surface has just caught my eye. I was like, oh, that's a nice little one there. Um, okay, well, let me get through this roll and we'll get into the other rolls and we'll see what kind of finds we have in this, uh, these 25 rolls. Roll number four. We've hit a wheat scent. This is the first wheat scent of the second box here. As a 1956. All right, we're going to add it up here. Roll number eight, and we found our oldest coin yet. It is 1942, but it is from Canada. This is a King George. Uh, I don't find many King Georges because uh, they are older. That is a really cool find in a box. Just open roll number 12 and back here. Let me get it on the camera. We've got another Canadian, it looks like. Um, no, that's not a Canadian. That is a Bahamas. Nice, 1974 Commonwealth of the Bahamas. They got that starfish on it. The Bahamas has some really cool designed coins. And I always love finding those. They're always fun. That is a fun find. 
We're on to roll 18, and we got a wheat scent here. Let's see. Let's take a look at this one and see what date it is, if I can hold on to it. 1950s. It's the San Francisco. Very nice. Um, that is a, another wheat scent for the stack up here. Still on roll 18 towards the back here. We got another wheat scent. Another wheat scent. This is a 1946. Nice. Two wheat scents in this roll. That was pretty cool. Roll 21, and right here, make sure it's on the camera. Uh, got a wheat scent here. Just poured out the roll, saw the wheat sears poking out, and there we go. We got another wheat scent, 1941. Nice. That's now our oldest coin found so far. Roll 23, and we've got another wheat scent here. Let's take a look and see what date we have. It's another 1950. This one is from Philadelphia. Very cool. There's another wheat scent. Oh, looks like we have one more back here. We move this over and we'll zoom in and we'll check this one out too. Another double wheat scent roll. Very cool. 1944. It's another one of those here. Nice. Well, it is time to wrap up here. Ended up with nine wheat cents all together, four from the 40s, five from the 50s. We hit the 2006 with the double die obverse. Uh, DDO007 is what I matched up to. There are a couple that are similar, and so I might have gotten that uh, off, but it seems to, mat to me to match up to 007. So that's pretty cool find there. Uh, we ended up with three foreigns, one from Bahamas, and then two from Canada, including the 1942 King George. And that's pretty cool. I don't find many King Georges, so that is a, a fun find for a box. Okay, I've got a few coins set over here for the album. We'll check the wheat scents and see if I have spots for those to go in and see what's going on with those. And I'll be right back and uh, let you know how the albums are shaping up. For the first book, all the wheat scents. We have a 1950s that I'm going to upgrade this one for. This one has a lot of uh, splotches on it. Those are got a little bit of green on there. So I think I'm going to upgrade it to a clean example. And then hopefully we'll find a nice example to upgrade that later. So uh, yeah, that is it. One, one upgrade for this book. For our second book here, we got a few really nice uh, scents from the 70s that I found. 1970. Um, just a cleaner example, this one does have a little surface issues, uh, you know, discoloration, but this one is just a dirtier, uglier scent. So that's a nice little upgrade here. The 71, the 70 S is a gorgeous scent that I found in circulation. Gonna upgrade that one, definitely. And then we have another gorgeous 1971. This is very, very nice. Surprising to find these 70s in nice condition. That's gonna upgrade that spot as well. Very cool. 70s coins there and then we have one more here in the 90s to upgrade the 9091 denver is just a much better example than the one we have in there so that's going to upgrade that spot and that is all for this book and for our final album here we have no fills or upgrades for this book so there we have the albums five spots upgraded which is pretty cool especially those ones from the 70s were just some gorgeous coins i came across and those are going to go really nice in the album here so that is really cool to to find those in circulation um so yeah that is it for this hunt i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up helps me out drop a comment down below let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day and i want to give a very Special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.